Yeah, even, My coming up, and I'm yeah, even well, to the left, it's, to the left. it's a little difficult. Like when you change direction through here, yeah, yeah. she wants to fall in a little bit. Okay. Right, so then you need a little more outside rain, and then you're just going to have to gradually work on getting that little bit of bend and lower. Because what will happen is if your arm comes up in a way, she's just going to kind of fall in. You're not right. going to get the turn, yeah. and it's not going to work with the softener okay. and ask her to lower. So, a little more outside rain and just gradually as she softens up, she'll she'll lower her and soften down her So we're all a little one sided and we are too. Yeah, yeah. A little bit more. Okay. Yeah, so we're gonna do that again. I will shorten both your reins a little bit. And just bring your hands up in front of you a little bit. That's it. And we'll have you on the back up the trot. Good. Good. So you're in the front of the reins. Get ready. Get ready. Sit down. Get on the outside reins. Low hand. Yep. Yep. Fine. Soften her a little. When she softens. Think about not just letting her trap, soften her then say trap. hand towards me. Keep that outside hand is steady so you don't drop her.
fly a little bit the other direction. Does it feel like she's starting to, to anticipate? That's good. Yeah. She does. We did a center riding clinic and we made it through two survey meetings. So she's like, I got that. Okay. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> I mean, I have more contact than I've been riding with. I mean, she's a little all over the place, but she's gonna be because she's she's trying to figure out what I'm yep. what I'm asking for. So it's uh, I think it's good. We got we got some stuff to work with. They can see her, you know, trying to figure out Let's about see the wheels down. going. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So it's it's good. 
you know, because I wasn't really sure, you know, how to ask her, and then I didn't yeah. want to. So, <laughs> right, so, um, just to kind of recap, so, you want to try to avoid, at this point, full frames, because mm -hmm. she's still kind of learning to give to the pressure. Right. So, your outside range is as steady as you can make it, and she gets a little quick outside range. It, you want to kind of guide her around the circle yeah. and support with this, and then when you change direction, get solid on your new outside rein again right. so that you don't have two steps where there's nothing, because that's yeah. what's going to come. Mm -hmm. And that's where she's going to get a lot of security between your seat and your leg yeah. into that steady rein. You set the rhythm. Right. And you're telling her, walk, here's your pace, walk this pace. Mm -hmm. You balance her, you meet her in up front, and you provide the with your lower back. And yeah. Your and then let her just come to you, mm -hmm. right? She gets a little quick, a little up, heavy outside range. Just let your arm be a little heavy and let her feel that on the one rein until just like she does, she kind of figures it out and it comes back down here. Right. And then you can start playing. A little soft or a little. Yeah. You want to try to avoid full trains at the same time because that's going to just make her come up like that. Right. And then as she walks, actually works down here a little bit. That's when she's going to be working yeah. you know, on her back and a nice longer stride and reaching forward. And then, you know, by the time after you have her new muscle memory yeah. and her fit, then when you're doing your endurance rides, you don't have to keep asking her to go. Right. Right. You have to be her way of going. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Which is, uh, <laughs> you want to count yourself on her muscle and not kind of just on the skeleton. Right. right. Yes. Yeah. Yep. I can't let you do more. I teach them this is the Oh, I do. As long as she's not rubbing on me, yeah. it's fine. Yeah. And even once in a while, I let her get away with it. <laughs> Just not with the bridle on. <laughs> yeah. Good. No, it's good. And we actually had one decent transition, because that's one thing I really noticed, is she tends to have, like, not a nice on the bit walk, but she'll keep her head down, like, relatively, we're relaxed, we're on, you know, on the trail or whatever, and yeah. she's kind of relaxed and going, and then you ask her to try, it's like, Fling! Yeah. yeah, so it was nice to see, you know, we yeah. finally got like two really nice starts. Like, she didn't instantly come back up. Right. So, you um, can ask for minder on the outside yeah. ring, yeah. minder on the inside ring. Even when she's walking nice and relaxed, yeah. still be there for her. Right. Still be yeah. there on the outside. Yeah. And, uh, and, it, and it's for a period of time. It's why you're training her, where you're mm -hmm. getting her used to taking the contact right. and accepting the contact. Uh -huh. It's not like you'll never be able to go without contact. Right. But her response then when you do take a contact isn't going to be to come up, it's going to be more like... Right, right, to pick up. yourself up instead of... And, right, and she'll kind of look for a bit and change and then get a little better behind yes. it and push off and go. Yep, right. and we'll never get up any hills if we don't use your butt. <laughs> butt and back. Yep, yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I live. Hi, Bob. How are you? Hello. Hello. Hi. 